Hi you guys, how's everybody doing? Today I will be watching Fruits Basket Season 2, Episode 1. Now you guys may or may not know that I have watched all of the 2001 series in the past, like a long time ago. I said it was already like probably my first like anime that got me hooked and stuff. And then after I actually ended up watching Episode 1 of Season 1 of the reboot, but I stopped there and I watched all of it on my own. So I, I am up to date with the reboot version. Um, I did of course see, you know, differences between the old one and the new one that made me kind of a bit sad, but I, I, I enjoyed it overall. I feel like the humor was more amplified in the older one. <laughs> But anyways, so basically season one of the reboot ended a bit differently from season one that I was used to for the older version. So basically it didn't end at the same spot. It, it ended a bit earlier actually. So the older version had a bit more following what happened at the end of season one of the reboot. <laughs> so basically I'm sure I'm going to see some stuff that I know is going to happen. But beyond that it's going to go further than the reboot and I'm just going to be completely surprised because I have not read the manga. I have no idea how this series continues after all that. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm really excited because this is like, it's been a while since I've done a fluffy kind of romance comedy kind of thing. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be fun. I was like squiggling, like I was, I was freaking out like the whole season one of this. So this is gonna be fun. Now, like I say for all my first episodes, these are obviously trials and I can't guarantee a continuation. But I feel like I might continue this one. I really feel like I might. Without further ado, guys, let's jump right into season two of the reboot of Fruit Basket. I'm excited. My whole- my all-time crush from this series since like 2001 was from Yuki. But I like them both. But he looked less soft in the older version. He looks soft in this one. And he had darker hair. I like the darker hair. Unless, oh, unless the ending of season one, like, unless the ending of the older version was not even the original ending, like, was not in the manga, then I'm gonna see a whole new thing. Although I feel like I've seen this, like, what's happening right now with this long-haired girl. I feel like I've seen that, but so maybe yeah, because I I feel like I heard that the first version had a lot of its own stuff going on too. So there's a huge chance. That what I saw in the first version is not gonna happen in this one. Oh, these two. I don't know that person. Oh, she's a horse? <laughs> I think horses are my spirit animals. So that's cool. And she looks great, so. And you've been living the life. This story is like so heartbreaking. Oh, I also really liked that scene a lot in the older version. I'm so sorry. The older version, I really liked that scene because Yuki was involved and that was like such a plus. Like if you go if you go see the older version, that scene, Yuki comes through and I was just like, oh my god, yes. It felt so wholesome. I was like, look at him coming through when it matters, like he's not, you know, anyways, it was really good. <laughs> Why did this thought just come to my head? You get mad at your boyfriend, so you hug him and put him in a cage to punish him. Girl. <laughs> He's 
here for the romance drama. <laughs> like, let's see how this segment plays out. <laughs> Damn, I want to know what potential you had. <laughs> <laughs> a vibe, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love this duo. He looks fine from the back. I was like, he looks fine. They're the new members. Oh, he's pretty cute, honestly. Oh, and he has like cups. I love those cups. Okay, he's he's nice meeting you. <laughs> oh, he's tall. He's tall. So, vice president, that's just great. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna have his hands full! Why was the room such a mess? <laughs> <laughs> you chose him, don't regret that shit now. <laughs> The school defense force. <laughs> that is pretty sick. Is that what he meant by I want black? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, just so you know, I don't know anything about this. New character I've never seen in my life, so. <laughs> wow. I like him a lot. You'd be surprised. Like, you would think, you know, he's just he's just a regular brown haired character, right? So normally you wouldn't think they stand out, but he's cute. He's like, okay. In fact, there's a lot of, like, regular, like, black or just brown haired characters. And I'm just like, yeah, you look great. Oh, my God. I bet it was like the most minimal thing of life. Oh, she was straight to the point. Oh, look at this boy, he just went, thank you, like. She doesn't go down the wrong side. <laughs> she just went up to the table like, hey! The stress they must feel all the time when they realize, oh my god, these girls can just jump me at any time. You know, because uh, in a lot of cases, girls tend, like, tend to just hug guys. It's, like, hey, what's good? Like, if if they're close, like they know each other, just like hug. And then like he's always stressing out that it really sucks. Like what does it feel like to just be the center of attention? It's like you know they're just sweating over you. And asking you questions like what you have for breakfast. Wait, why do I recognize that? I remember someone asking him what he had for breakfast. And then they were just like, wow, for breakfast? Like, yeah. Why do I, why does everyone hate natto? I've never had it, is it that bad? Okay. Who is he not smiling at? He's always smiling at you guys. Did he really say that? He should know better. I remember he did say he was gonna try to just be more relaxed and open with people. Yeah, she's doing all the work. Oh no. Now it looks like you hate him. Good job. <laughs> He's facing these things head on now. Yeah, he has a temper. He does have one. <laughs> For him talking to you right now. Yes, yes. Oh my god, no, he's he can't be doing stuff like this. Like it's just not fair. Like you know you ain't gonna give nobody nothing and you just <sighs> just smiling at girls like this. Don't you know they call you prince? Parts of this episode is familiar and parts are not. This is so weird. 
I think they kind of like mixed things. So they added some stuff into this episode and showed some stuff. I feel like he knows things. Like he knows you. Happy. <sighs> okay, fine. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh, is that the horse? Is that the horse? I really want to meet her. He's playing the violin. Like everyone wants to be, everyone wants to be freaking totally like this is insane, this is ridiculous. Ah, I like that. Like, oh my god, I freaking love this show so much. The music is so nice, and the ending is so pretty. Look at it. You okay, thanks. <laughs> Honestly, I have way too much fun watching this show. Like. It's just so much fun, like, I swear I had, cause I had trouble shutting my mouth, like, I'm just always... It's just a really exciting and intriguing show, I don't know, I just love it. I don't know if it's also just because, like, I know the characters for a long period of time, it just feels so, like, familiar and homey, like, I guess maybe that's why I like it so much, too. But, nah, like, I enjoy it too much. <laughs> So I honestly, if, I honestly think high chances are I'm going to continue this one because it's just a lot of fun. I mean, we'll see, but it's just so much fun. I guess. Anyways, so we are waiting on, I really like the new character, the guy you guys know I already said. I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, he's cute and ting. Um, and then after there's the, the treasure. It's very quiet, very low-key, so I don't know much about her yet. Um, seeing Yuki's trying to grow like that is really awesome but it's 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 scary considering his condition and his the curse like obviously he can't get too close close with like the opposite sex because then they'll feel super comfortable to like touch him and things like that and that's obviously not safe like in Kyo's case he's kind of really popular just because he's able to have fun a little bit like it, he like he the attention is drawn to him somehow just because he's like loud and like does his own thing and he's not like always trying to be perfect like people are just drawn to him and stuff like that but not drawn to him to the point where they feel like oh I'm so comfortable I can touch him like he's always growling at me <laughs> so there's that and then there's just Toru being Toru so yeah that was a lot of fun I'm excited for next week's episode and seeing how this show because I know this show can really grow and you're gonna see things happen things are gonna happen like I know it so I'm just really excited for that honestly so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video leave your thoughts how you feel down below no spoilers and I will see y'all again soon I think Wednesday for Tower of God so thanks again and bye